This is Odin. Odin does not like to use the stairs. In this video, I'm going to hopefully show you how to teach a dog to use the stairs. Now, what I find when it comes to stairs, that usually uh, one fear, or when it comes to dogs, not necessarily the stairs, but um, sometimes there's one fear or one thing that they're uh, reticent about that more than, or fear more than the other. Um, for dogs, I find a lot of it is being afraid of being left behind. So um, we have dogs that are fearful of stairs. Um, we can try to lure them, so you can leave treats. Now, he had a bad experience where he fell through some steps as a puppy, so, and then he has a visual uh, uh, acuity problem. He only has partial sight in one of his eyes. And so I think all those things can, together have combined for it. Now we have, as you see, uh, hardwood floors in the house. That's hard for a lot of dogs to get grips on. So what you might want to consider doing, now the stairs here are actually carpeted, which is going to make it easier. But the very landing at the bottom is not. So you might want to go to carpet land. Carpet land, you can get like huge chunks of carpet, of really nice carpet for like five or ten bucks that they'll sell. It just, it's 110th and maple. And so I've sent a ton of clients there. So basically what I'm going to do, I now I try to be force free. Now I'm not going to force him up or down the stairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift him up and we're going to put him up on about the third step. And then the mom is going to kind of walk this way and walk kind of out of sight and kind of call and try to lure him as if we're leaving. And for most dogs, in my experiences, I've done this with a bunch of dogs, um, that the fear of being left alone is greater than the fear of the stairs. So let's see how this goes. All right, Odin. Come here, buddy. You're going to give me my workout today, huh? Yes. All right, so when you do lift up a dog, I prefer to do it around the chest and back legs like this. So I'm just going to lift him up, and it's easier for them to go up than down. We're going to make it a little, we're going to try it a little bit the harder one first. Very good. Good job, buddy. Now, this is something that he's not a huge fan of doing. So we want to give him a little bit of a reward after. after that's all right. This is where this life happens. Oh, here, buddy. Now, earlier we went through a hand targeting exercise. I want to see if we can use that because I was getting some good success with that earlier. Oh, touch. So the problem that he has is with his back legs. He just does not like using his back legs for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up and now we're gonna go an, an extra stair. So the first time I did it, his back leg was on the fourth step. Now we'll put his back leg on the fifth step. And the cat, if I say trouble, there's a cat that's literally named trouble. Odin, Odin. There we go, Odin. Touch, Odin touch. Touch. There we go, buddy. Yes. I know. All right. I shall go a little bit long, harder than what I wanted to last, what I said I was going to. Very good, buddy. Yes, you definitely get a treat for that. You get a little extra love. Yes. Yes, so you did a very good job. Yes, I want you to feel super duper zesty and happy. I don't know if zesty is an emotion, but we're gonna use it. All right, yes, let's do that again, shall we? Let's see if we can get you going three quarters of the way up the stairs. Yes, you see the excitement? He's happy about this. Now, part of this, I'm, I'm triggering this a little bit, but I think that part of this is I feel good. I went down those stairs by myself. Now, down the stairs is harder than typically going up the stairs. All right, Odin, let's do it out of touch. Odin. So I'm incorporating a positive uh, trick that he knows. Touch! Odin! There we go, buddy. Touch. I want him to at least start the exercise. I am picking him up, but I'm at least starting with him coming over on his own. We want the dog to do as much of the work as possibly can. All right, let's see. Trouble's coming with. Can you see us? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's come around one more time, buddy. 
Come here. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we're going to take you all the way up to the top. We're going to see if you can come all the way down. This time, you're going to come over and board. Make a big deal. All right, so now I'm going to have you, you have a handful of treats. Okay. Show me you have a treat. Okay. Go ahead and call him. Okay. Come. And now grab a seat on the fourth step. And grab a seat. There you go. Try to do a target. Okay. Or a touch. Can I grab a seat too? Uh, one second, sweetheart. You're almost there. Try scooching back one more step. Oh. There we go. Okay. Touch. Oh, Odin, that was so close, buddy. I think that was me. I'm the one who made the bump. Odin. Odin. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Downstairs. Oh, downstairs. Odin just went down the stairs over here. Oh, Can you go over here and call Odin? Now this is an exercise that is going to be stressful for the dog at first. So what I'd recommend you do is now, for these particular stairs, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because these are actually a uh, hardwood floor. So they do make like little uh, uh, grippy strips you can you put down. You can also, I've seen people get like uh, Velcro tape. really hard and Odin won't listen. He won't listen. So Odin's kind of like, I don't want to go down those stairs again. I want to do it one more time. I'm going to go grab him. This time we're going to try to go get him to come up the stairs instead of down the stairs. And I'm going to need your okay. help for this one. Can you stay right there? All right, I'll be right back. What do you need me for? Uh, as a motivation. Yeah, Odin! Yeah, Odin dog! Yes, Odin dog! Give me a break! You want to do it so bad? That's right. Because you're trying to trick me. Yes. So yes, Odin dog. Odin dog. Odin dog. So in between each one of these, you need to make sure you have good, oh, uh, positive So they go right. by part of the red truck. Good job. All right, are we still filming? I'm going to go up the stairs. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put him on the second stair. So he's already got the first step going. And I'm going to buttress him and not let him go back. Go ahead. Go to the top and call him up. Okay. Can I help you keep Yeah, why don't you zoom up here real quick. What? Come on, leave her, leave that. Go ahead, come on up. You can leave that or bring it, whatever you want. Run up, okay. run up, just run up all the way to your mom. Run up here. Come on. There you go. I know. This is a tough one. Odin, huh? Odin, come. Odin, want to come with go. the music? No, This is easier if, if you have a long flight of stairs with carpet at the bottom. Going up is typically easier. So I think he's a little bit stuck. There we go. There you go. I'm going to have both of you get up and just walk that way and go ahead and call him. Odin, come. Go ahead and walk that way. Odin, come. We're just going to keep going. Come Exactly. Odin, come. Now I'm going to block and I want him to come back down. I'm mean, not going to force him, but I'm going to prevent him from doing it. And I see he's breathing a little bit now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up and put him up three quarters of the way so he can practice. So what I, basically what I'm trying to do is I want him to do it on his own. I want to put, if I put him at the bottom of the top, he's already, he hasn't started. So if we get him started, it's a little bit easier. If we're getting closer to the deadline, we're... <laughs> there you go, buddy. Alright, now call. Odin, come! Come on! You do a step! Good job, Odin! Come on! You know my timer's almost over! Odin, 
trying to use some trees? Okay, come. Come on, There you go, buddy. Now I had to help get him started a little bit. So this is probably one of those things where we're going to have to lift him up. Now first we're going to have him where his top foot is here, his bottom foot is here. Then eventually his bottom foot is here and he's facing this direction. Try not to let him turn around and go back down the stairs and say, I don't want to play this game. All right. Now go ahead and we're going to have everybody come on downstairs. And we'll see if we can get him to come down on his own. Okay. And just come on down. Now, one of the problems you have with a situation like this, he hasn't been upstairs very long. Yes, good boy. Odin, we went down the stairs, buddy. Look who's happy. Everybody's so happy. Yeah, we're down the stairs. Down. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is one where we're, you, we're kind of putting him in a stage situation where he kind of has to. He has to jump off, and so we're we're putting him like to either the top of the stairs or the bottom of the stairs. So what I want you guys to do, you can get a workout when you're doing this. Pick him up and practice going both directions. Get a big format though for the bottom, so that when he gets there, he doesn't slip. Because if he's doing this, he starts building confidence in the very light. One of the times he slips, man, that'll make him not want to have anything to do with these. And that's kind of what happened before. He went through some stairs that were open. So what I'd like you to do is when you're going up, first put his back leg like here. Well, excuse me, uh, he's coming down. Put his back leg on, let me see, one, two, three, four, on the fifth step. His other one here. Hey, buddy. Um, the second way, uh, uh, and once he comes down this, this is about three or four times. Then put his back leg up here and down here. So he's basically having to transition, transition longer and longer. Um, and eventually, once you can do it from the top all the way down, do the same thing going up. So you're going to go in both directions. Now, there's one other little tip that, I can, that you can use. Um, if you use a clicker, which, uh, Odin, Odin, target, or I'm sorry, yours is touch. Touch. So something that we do sometimes is we'll do what I call click for looks. Can you sit? Can you do me a favor? Can you go uh, give that to your mom and stand next to her real quick? All right, good job. So if I'm going to use a clicker, first you have to do what's called priming or loading the clicker, which is where you, you drop a treat on the ground and you click it every time the dog licks it. So then what you can do is if he looks at the stairs, you click. So the idea for this is just looking at the stairs gives me a treat, and you can say stairs or whatever the word is. So we start to, so this is kind of the genesis point. I don't think you'll need to do this, but other people that will watch this, they might have a dog that also has this. So if your dog just sits here and looks at the stairs, click, as soon as it looks, then give it a treat. After a while, they're inclined to want to go check it out a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Eventually the dog might take a step or two. Now you can lead some dogs up and down the stairs with treats. I'm assuming you tried that. Most people try it all the time. Uh, it works for very mild cases. But the other one, really what they have to do is just like anything else, the more you do it, the more confident you are in it. So I want you to practice putting them up and down and just try to do this like three times a day. Um, and between each one, make sure he gets a lot of extra love and attention. Maybe you can have your special helpers help out with that. So the reason is that she gives him like, tells him to sit five times, gives him five different treats. Then dad picks him up does the same thing. Uh, and every, every once in a while, I also have dad sometimes pick him up and then put him down and then give him a couple treats. If we pick him up, every time we pick him up, we're going there, he's gonna start to perceive, perceive that picking up is about to be something negative. But if you do this right, I'd like you to try to do this three times a day uh, uh, for about a week. And I'm guessing by the end of the week, you'll have a, no problem with him going up down these stairs. Now this stairs, like I said, I would look for a little piece of carpet you can cut out and like uh, use some sort of uh, 3M Velcro tape or something like that to put on there. Now he's gonna be very tired after this. So make sure afterwards he gets a little downtime so the kids aren't going too crazy. If they are, he gets a special place he can go. Odin! Touch. How about a sit? Can you get a sit and we'll sign off? It's like if you have a treat, sit. Well, this is Odin. So basically, what a handsome fella he is. And these are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog that doesn't like to use the stairs.